Hello folks, Paul here, UK Rails and More. Hope you're all keeping safe and well and having a great weekend. Uh, just to bring you back, I've got another review here that will be starting shortly on this rather nice Class 37. Uh, this one is uh, nameless, but uh, number 37261, uh, DRS livery, uh, and is going to be uh, a welcome member of the DRS fleet that I'm building up. I uh, bought this model a while ago uh, when I bought another uh, DRS model that you, if you've been watching the channel, you may well have seen, uh, which is, of course, Concrete Bob. OK, so these two are going to be good uh, stable mates. OK, so we're going to be um, reviewing those. I'll get both of them to have a look, have a look at a bit of a comparison for them. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the TMDM building is going to be part of the new modular layout. If you want to know all about that, uh, please check out. I've done a few other videos as well, which explains all my ideas on that. Um, speaking of which, uh, this weekend as well, I've been uh, doing some more work in and around the rain showers of the modular build. So uh, yeah, hopefully end of uh, today or even maybe tomorrow, uh, I'll be doing another video just giving you a bit of a progress update on the baseboards. Uh, anyway, enough from me. Let's uh, get this unboxed uh, and then I will bring you back in a minute. Bye for now. Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, anyone who's watched the channel before or seen any of my other reviews knows that uh, I'm a big fan of the 37. Uh, but having said that, aren't we all? That, uh, I don't know many people that I've heard of who aren't big fans of Class 37s. They're just such a characterful locomotive. Uh, and this one's certainly no exception. Um, as I said before, I'm going to be uh, modelling a DRS TMD. Uh, this one will be part of that fleet, uh, no surprise. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting started of that. First of all, I'm going to be doing the scenic section, uh, but that will be coming at some point as well. Anyway, looking at this one, um, the reason I bought another 37, really, as well as Concrete Bob, uh, you've probably seen the review of that. Uh, if not, please uh, feel free to check that one out. Uh, was uh, really, I think it's quite good if you're doing a TMD uh, to have a few, yeah, of course, it's nice to collect loads of different or different types of locomotive, but I sometimes think it looks very authentic if you've got a couple of the same type uh, as well. And the other thoughts were that I could use uh, something like this uh, to review, uh, to use alongside the other 37 uh, in a railhead treatment train or something of that description where you can double head them as well. Um, so, yeah, this seems to fit the bill. Um, what I did like about it is that uh, the livery is different. I didn't really want to have two that were exactly the same livery with just different names, etc. Uh, so this one, I think you'll see when we compare them, is the older type DRS uh, livery. Um, it's a, a model from Kurnow uh, Model Rail Centre that I bought some time ago uh, when I bought some of the other stock. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really pleased with it. Uh, so let's just have a, a look at the uh, locomotive. Okay, so what have we got? So, yeah, we've got spring-loaded uh, buffers. And we've got the usual nice front-end de detail. We've got the standard coupling there on that side. Uh, it's not weathered, this one. So, yeah, really nice front-end. All. Also, we've got the option of the uh, the other, I forget what name they are, the other couplings that you can use there as well. 37261. It's got the lighting, uh, and you've also got that Nice warning signs and of course the aerial on the top there. So yeah, really nice detail this 37. You've got the hatches, the engine inspection hatches, the horns, the windscreen wipers. And of course our friend, the driver in there. Supplied by uh, Backman, which again is a very nice touch. Okay, one of the things I did really like about this model when I saw it, just this black roof. I just think it looks really good and it goes well with the uh, the dark navy blue livery. Okay, moving on, we've got the nice grills. And yeah, that older type DRS livery, the, uh, the more square type. Okay, uh, as in not the compass. So yeah, just having a look at the bogies. Again, the brakes, all of those uh, details there, the suspension. Very nice, big fan of Backman, as you've gathered. It's majority of my fleet, along with some Hattons. Uh, when I was younger, I had Lima, um, Hornby as well. 
and I think they're brilliant as well. I just seem to have got into my Backmans this time round. Okay, moving on. So yeah, we've got the steps. We've got the detail. Quite a bit of detail there. The signage, the specifications. Yeah, real nice details there. I do say detail too much in these reviews, I'm very much aware, but <laughs> that's what it is really with these things. Uh, handrails, separate. Okay, more warning signs on the roof. Okay, all the numbers, very crisp, the paintwork, which is good. And then on fuel tanks, nice details of the gauges. We've got near full tank there. So ready for running on the new layout, all being well. Uh, of course, for those who don't know, um, I've also done a project layout, if I can call it that, or a test track called the Lockdown Layout. And that was just basically a project that I wanted to do to set myself a target of building a very small diorama where I could run some new trains to test them and also see how it works. But I'm looking forward to building this new substantial layout. Uh, okay, moving on. Hopefully the sun's just gone in a little bit, but uh, let's see. Okay, bogey details, obviously that's going to be the same as are the cab details, pretty much the same. Very nice door there. They don't open these doors, I believe some do, but uh, yeah, it's uh, still very nice. Okay, moving on to the other end. Now, this end I've just noticed uh, that. And I don't know if anyone can tell me what that is. I'm not immediately sure what that is actually i don't know if anyone knows what that detail is it's not on the other cab end but uh it's probably something obvious i'll kick myself for afterwards but uh yeah if anyone knows what that is let me know in the comments below that'd be great okay there we go nice cab detail these bright distinctive yellow ends the aerial and again the cab the same Okay, moving on for a look at the roof. Very nice roof, very nice details on there. Various inspection hatches, exhaust, ex exhaust there. And again, you've got all of those rivet details on there. So very nice roof. And again, one of my favorite parts about these locomotives, just that real nice detailed grill with internal fan as well which is fantastic. Okay. So yeah, very nice locomotive there. Very impressed with that. Okay, you get the uh, various snow plows and uh, extra brake hoses, etc., and connections. In there as you do with uh, with all of these there she is okay guys welcome back uh, I thought this just illustrates really what I was trying to achieve with this so you've got the two both obviously DRS but uh, yeah you've got the two different liveries so they can work together you've got the enjoyment of really having two different looking locomotives but yeah, they both look perfectly at home in the new DRS TMD, which I'm going to be doing, hopefully, not too uh, not too long into the future. Okay, so you can see just uh, one of the main things with uh, the other one, Sir Robert McAlpine, or Concrete Bob, I think is uh, is other otherwise known as uh, that you've got on the bogies. They're all very painted up and everything. Okay. Uh, whereas with this one, you've uh, you've got the normal sign and you've got the plain kind of bogies, and of course the uh, the other the other one, concrete bob. If we can just slide that along. Yeah, there. So you've got the compass livery, which is it is a really nice livery, and I was tempted to 
to go for another one, but I thought, nah, this is going to be nice just to have one a bit, uh, a bit different. Okay, folks, uh, I'll just give you a brief uh, history of the Class 37 for anyone who's interested in who uh, hasn't heard it before. Uh, okay, so the brief history, this is from the Backman's box. Class 37, when the initial 1955 dieselization plan was announced, no locomotives were envisaged in the 1700 horsepower range. Consequently, the Class 37s were introduced in 1960 as an intermediate loco between the 1250 horsepower 1,250 horsepower Type 2s and the 2,000 horsepower Type 4s. Apart from a variety of bogies changing from castings to fabricated sections, removal of steam heating boilers for some, from some locos, conversion of water tank to extra fuel tanks on some WR units and fitting of dual vacuum air brakes, few alterations have occurred outwardly to the loco since introduction. When initially introduced, the ER put them on Norwich to Liverpool Street and other Great Eastern Line services and ran them alongside their stablemate Class 40s. The next batch went to Hull and Tinsley, Sheffield, for working passenger and freight duties, including the Hull to Doncaster portion of the Yorkshire Pullman. Mid-1965 saw pairs of Class 37s working experimental high-speed runs from Paddington to Plymouth, including exceeding 100 miles per hour on several occasions. During 1968, one loco was used to test the Westinghouse air brake system, hauling BR ferry vans, the longest train ever to run on BR. When introduced, the locomotives were finished in BR green livery with a grey roof with small yellow nose panel, subsequently covering the full nose and the second BR symbol and full yellow end was applied. Later, freight set to grey livery was applied to allocated locos. I've done a review of that for uh, of Imperial, which is a coal sector for anyone who's not seen it. Have a look at that by all means. Um, uh, freight set to grey livery was applied to allocated locos, including appropriate logo for traffic conveyed. Some passenger locos carried into city swallow livery. They also appeared in load hall, mainline and transrail liveries in the lead up to privatisation. Since 1997, they have carried a number of liveries, including EWS and of course this one, the very nice DRS livery. Okay, folks, thanks for watching uh, my review of the Class 37 37261 in DRS livery, uh, produced exclusively for Kurnow Model Rail Centre. Um, if you've enjoyed the review, I'd be really grateful if you could just give it a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. If you really enjoyed the review and you want to be kept up to date with full details of the new exciting layout build that I've got coming along, uh, I'd be really grateful if you uh, could press that subscribe button. Uh, and if you press the notification bell as well, you will be notified as soon as I come up with any other reviews uh, or, of course, layout updates and, of course, another scenic inspiration trip to the Peak District, which uh, I'm hoping to be doing this week, uh, weather permitting. So, yeah. Really grateful for uh, for your support and your comment and feedbacks as always, folks. So uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will bring you back shortly for uh, another update. Okay, bye for now.